All right, guys. Uh, somebody sent me a clip of this from Twitter from Bowflax, <laughs> and then I was like, I kind of want to watch the whole thing. I guess it's. Uh, I think I've swear his name is like Larix, right? Am I saying that right? Um was doing some kind of a video about Tipster uh, a little while ago, about a month ago. And then I guess this guy chimed in uh, and he, I, it sounds like it's in the defense of Tipster says discount drama YouTuber attempts to bash Tipster live. Kind of a flat, a snazzy title. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, I'm just curious about what's going on. I think I remember this guy from a destiny video he, or a Jubilee video and destiny was there too. So let's get this party started. Forget about this one. A few weeks ago when Keffel's his best friend and a lover these days, who <laughs> boost? Was that your fan fiction? Like, is that the level of parasociality we've reached, Justin Bieber? We have Justin Bieber at home. Got into a little bit of controversy okay. over her train. Uh, actually, I, you don't deserve that much credit. I don't even like Justin Bieber's music, but I, I will compare you to Leafy since I know that he's a loser. So. Oh, based. Leafy at home. Incendiary grenade. Ah, uh, let's go with this. So recently, I became uh, acquaintances. We're growing closer as we DM each other. Uh, but I would consider him a friend at this point. I made a good friend known as Tipster. Uh, and I found Tipster... Interesting friend, okay. Basically because I got a little bit jealous when he was covering Sharks, Matt Walsh thing. And I went into his chat, I'm like, Hi, it's me. I, I was there too. I just want to... Let's check and check and see if you want to watch me, right? Because Tipster is a pretty big streamer. He's been around for a long time on the... Um... <laughs> listen, I don't want to say anything mean. I don't hate Tipster. I think that he has a... He has an unfortunate uh, habit of uh, defending pretty uh, yucky things between the Vosh stuff uh, and uh, other stuff that I've seen before. We don't have to go through all the specifics. <laughs> I will say, looking at his page, uh, his content doesn't seem to be doing particularly well. I wouldn't necessarily consider him a big streamer. Um, but hey, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm a big stinky poopy head, but like looking at his views, yeah, I don't know if they're necessarily going too great. Uh, whatever. Well, that's fine. I mean, sure, maybe he's a nice friend. He does seem to ride or die for his friends. Internet. And uh, if you guys didn't know, actually, here, let me pull this up. Okay. So, Tipster, um, for those who don't know, he's an old drama streamer. He used to hang out in drama circles a lot and do a lot of drama content. And uh, he, re he relatively recently left that community behind because he was not very fond of a lot of their antics. You know, I'm not saying... Just to be, and listen, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to be that guy, but Lipster was not, he was not innocent of those antics either. It's not like he was somebody who was not like, he would play into the same antics that we're referring to as everybody else. And I wonder if he realizes that like he was just as toxic as a lot of the other people were I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not saying that I haven't had a history of my own toxicity. I mean, I took a step back. Because I saw myself not uh, being necessarily as good of a content creator as I wanted to be, but I would never exclusively blame other people. It was like a whole, you know, we were all, uh, and I wasn't super attached to him or his community, I guess. But like, you know, you it, it's, uh, you know, it's not just everybody else. You can't just blame everybody else when you're existing in a particular sphere, you know? So, oh, I need this. Yeah. <laughs> He unfriended them or whatever. He just changed his content is what he did. So now he's friends with Keffels. I don't know if he changed his content without anything else. I think he announced it like five times that he's leaving the community, which is another thing I would recommend not doing. When I decided to stop interacting with people, I didn't announce anything. It's a weird, um, in my opinion, almost like childish thing to do. Like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Like, why do you have to announce every one of your moves, you know? Um, like, just do something. You don't have to tell everybody about it. It, it, it. To me, it comes off as like you're seeking some kind of attention when you do something like that, so. That's kind of how uh, I knew that he exists, and so I saw him watching Sharks thing, and then you know I tried Shark to show him my thing, and he, he watched it, and so we started talking, and now we're you know well acquainted, sort of. But this is him at the Steamies. He got picked. And thank you so much for the two dollars from Jack Esposito. Hey, yo, Papa, I'm on break right now. At work, very cool, man. I appreciate you watching us on your break. To do the intro for the Steamies. Yes, that's correct, Lady Nova. What is up, everyone? Tipster that's here. Him. Is that Ethan's Steamies? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> Cheers, my dudes. Got it? Okay. Here we okay. go. One, two, three. Cheers, my dudes. Let's go. Okay. Okay, now with that on the way, let's go ahead and let's get this show started. Take it away, H3 crew. Love ya. So yeah, that was <laughs> Um Wow, okay. Very cool. It was really cool, right? I'm assuming that was before the whole Keffel's fallout. I just think he's neat. 
I do. Okay. I, I like his vibe. I like. Right. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe he's. Maybe he's. Uh, maybe he's very happy with his uh, evolution and change. I still. <laughs> Like, it's hard to get over the whole Vosh thing. You know, it's fine to be like, hey, this is my friend. And, uh, you know, I want to defend him. But it, it it goes a bit far when you're on uh, Twitter, you know, bullying Ethan. Not that I particularly love him or anything. Because Ethan's criticizing Vosh for looking at CP. And it's like, I don't know. This is the second time you've kind of defended this kind of stuff, brother. It's a little rough. It's like, uh, it's it's hard for me to get to a point where I'm like, yeah, I would like to interact with this person. Because it's like, gross. What a what a good fella he acts like. You know? <clears throat> just, I I get the good vibe from him. I That's got very cool. good vibes. He's, he seems very, very nice. cool. And, and I have some of Tipster's audience in, in here right now, as it turns out. We're actually oh. recording a YouTube video right now, if you didn't know. Um, Tipster's audience. So uh, if you're not in the site chat, cool. you'll have to get there in order to say hi to my YouTube audience. But um, like I said, big fan of Tipster. Okay, I like his okay. streams. I think they're funny. I think they're entertaining. And you guys should go check him out. Not everybody okay. likes Tipster, though. Like I said, he was part of the drama community. So a lot of people uh, got a lot of beef with him. And this okay. one came up on my feed. That's why I picked it. Tipster is a cringe loser from <laughs> Okay. Well, Rix, uh, who has fewer subscribers than me, granted. So I don't, you know, I, I don't want to. It does have 12K views, though, which is more than most of my videos. Okay. So apparently this popped up. Well, I think this is his secondary channel, no? Off a little bit for his channel uh, or their channel. I don't know if they're gender, but anyway. Okay. They don't like Tipster. So I, I just want to know why, because I would like to know him better, but I don't know him that well yet. Okay. But uh, let's see what Lurix thinks about him. Jeez. Like, this guy's so desperate to get, like, any action. Reaction to a reaction, dude? Did he just simps for, like, any... <laughs> Papa got... Mr. Gut, would you agree to the statement that you fell off? Uh, I guess so. I mean, I got banned on TikTok, but also I'm probably doing better than most of you guys. Not to... That's not, like, a criticism, but, I mean, if this is my fall off, this is a pretty tremendously successful fall off. Uh, but... Any girl that'll give him... I thought you looked great in that photo, TBH. Goth mommy could get it. Okay. Attention. What can I say? I got a thing for goth chicks. Ha ha ha. What is wrong? Yeah, I mean, the history of that, listen, uh, the history of that is more that I think that there seems to be a consistent uh, issue with Tipster hitting on other girls, or at least in the past. I haven't really caught up too much, right? Um, you know, I remember, I think it was Mudahar's girlfriend that was talking about how he would like follow, unfollow, block, and unblock spam her trying to get his her attention and stuff. And so I think people look at that and go like, oh, it's kind of cringe. He also defends his friends too much, which is, seems to be why he gets himself in the controversy. Like, it's fine to be like, oh, this is my friend. I have good faith to them. But they got to a, you know, a, a point where maybe you shouldn't defend all the actions of the person. You know, but we've all been there, I guess, with the uh, goth mommy allegations. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anything for pink haired hot goth mommy, Lamau, JK? I mean, <clears throat> context is necessary. To be fair, okay. but I, like I don't know when these are from. I don't know the conversation. I like, I don't know. I, I don't have enough context to make a judgment on this. Okay, cool. But this guy, bro. I'm not sure a guy who hasn't seen his dick in 15 years should be talking shit. Based. Okay, I, I get that I'm a big guy. Okay, like that's weak. That's pussy shit. If you're gonna go for the fat jokes, you're you're lo it's low hanging fruit, my friends. Yeah, a lot of it is. That's the point. It's just stupid, funny, silly shit. Okay. Low hanging like Tipster's massive dick, by the way. Oh, he knows what it looks like. Got him, <laughs> but yeah, but um, what I meant though is uh, you got you got to go for something else, man. You got to be a creative. Okay, get creative. If you're gonna make some fun of somebody, be creative about it. I can see my dick just okay. fine. My, my, my dick works great. It, it works perfectly fine. I'd say I'm average. My wife's not complaining. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time. <laughs> I guess so. Based on since we talked about good old Tipster. Now he's been up to Wait, a who's this guy? You got no room, Justin Bieber, to maybe be making fun of anybody's looks. That hairstyle is a choice, my friend. And so is that jacket. What the f Well, I mean, I guess so is being fat, no? I mean, I'm fat. It's not a good choice, but it's a choice. Also, when's the last time you've been to the gym? My, I, you could fit three of your bodies stacked next to each other inside of my one, and I'm detrained. Hello, sir. Why are you making fun of people's bodies? Shut the f up. This guy detransitioned? Okay. Lots, including going on H3H3's The Steamies Awards Show as uh, basically just to be a clown monkey. Yeah, and what is his background? It just looks like your room with lights everywhere, it, 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 with, with decorations and furniture. You. Dance for them because he's used as a soundbite for the H3 podcast. I think this guy should go to Death Noodle's next show, man. He's very funny. And he wanted to be introduced for some reason. Also, this is you're using the same microphone I am, and I sound a million times better. You, what you okay. need is uh, Logitech Sound Hub, okay? Download it today for free. It's completely free software from Logitech that you can use your Blue Yeti microphone with it, is my point. Okay, you can sync it up and make it sound much better. Cool. As the Logitech man behind Sound the meme, even though everyone just laughs at him and points at him like he's a 
Jill kind of H3H3 oh, so show, he decided to still accept the invite. I mean, it sounded like it was just like a, supposed to be a silly little goofy thing he did to go on H3, which makes sense for a brand awareness perspective. And like, yeah, I don't really see a big issue with it, I guess. But okay. Despite I'm just being shit on for like a year straight on this guy's channel. Self-respect. On whose channel? On what? On H3H3? H3? Okay. Does he get shit on by Ethan? Well, before the, dude, like, before the whole Vosh controversy, which is what I'm assuming this is before. What? I mean, I don't know their relationship, man. It's I think it's more paras. I think it's kind of parasocial of you to assume that you know everything that goes on behind the scenes with these two. Uh, it just screams parasociality. But then again, this is like a drama. You I don't think it's a parasocial thing. I think that he just doesn't like Tipster because like he feels he's very cringe. So I think that's really what. And I think a lot of it boils down to like Tipster seems to have a uh, a history and an issue with like being a genuine person. Um. Or I'll say his like I don't know his moral priorities. Like his moral priority seems to be defending whoever he thinks is his friend. So, like it seems like he'll kind of flop around in his perspectives of something based on who he's interacting with. Like things, and this seems to be something that happens more like somewhat. Like listen, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I remember when Tipster used to pop into my streams and then like hey, hey what's up, Papa God? And then I would in my stream and he would start a stream and he would just say the same thing I would say. I remember when I had like this whole thing where I was like having chats with. Uh, I think Bull Blacks in Stardust, and I was like, oh, yeah, I don't like the R slur, right? Like, whatever, not a big deal. I don't think people who use it are horrible, but I think it's a slur, and like, people should try to work towards not using it. We had like a little debate about it, and I remember him being like, yeah, I agree with Papa Gut. And then the second that, um, like, I guess I wasn't in the, you know, the, the flow, <laughs> all of a sudden he's like, it's just a word. Like, now that he's associating with Keffel, it's like, oh, it's just a word. It's not a big deal. It's just a word. It's like, you know, you're a 30 something year old man. I would imagine for, for some things, you would have a level of consistency in your, your perspective, right? So you'd be like, oh, you know, <laughs> like yeah, pick one, right? Uh, I don't know. It seems like that's something that happens and that seems to be a consistent issue. So I think that's one of the big criticisms with Tipster too is that he doesn't seem to have like an actual, uh, necessarily a moral framework for himself. It seems to be like whatever people are saying in his circle. I think that's like another... That's another criticism, you know? YouTuber, so I shouldn't expect any less. Non existence. What is up, everyone? <laughs> Tipster here. Well, I see oh, look, they showed it. <laughs> we already watched it. <laughs> Cheers, my dudes. Love you. Why is she laughing? Thank you all for joining us for the Steam Awards tonight live at the Bowl Theater. Why did you include this? It just makes him look cooler. And also, why are you la like, you didn't have to laugh over I don't think it makes him look cooler, but it does make lyrics look a little immature because it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. So. It just makes you, it just like, I don't know, it, it, it's um, weird. It's, it just makes you look like you're trying to be the Joker. Oh, a little Joker. The Jokester. A little Joker. Dude, How I old is, I, honestly, I'm, I'm a little scared. How old is this guy? He looks yeah. underage. There's a, I think he's underage. Isn't he like 19 or something? He's a young kid. It's part of like, you know. Just Twitter. He looks like he's like 14. I'm honestly scared to insult him any further. But he's in an adult space, so I'm going to trade him like an adult. Uh, Welcome to the adult world, kid. I swear he's like 18 or 19 or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Cheers, my dudes. So nice we have to do it twice. Uh, which is funny because I always said that There's I would never fall that. into the trap that my dad did. And then I got an alcohol addiction. Okay. Based. I feel that. Well, I feel like for anybody that has addiction problems, I mean, you're just more susceptible to addiction. I mean, you're obese. I'm obese. Obviously, there's like some probably level of food addiction there. Um, you know, uh, so I feel like all those kind of things coming around of each other, you know, they all kind of go together. <laughs> and alcohol. Really? We're going to go there? Is that? I guess so. Is that what's on the menu today? Hey, buddy. Addiction. Okay, I'm not on the way. This is why you're so offended. Dude, thank God he beat his alcoholism, dude. This guy's so just. Ew. Freshly 18. Wow, very sexy. Wait. Disgusting. Wait, what did you say? Wait, what? Grow up. For, for any kind of validation, he can. What get is with these soy ass motherfuckers looking like this, dude? Uh, we have Justin Bieber at home. Justin Bieber at home, this guy. Like, what, what is with these guys thinking that they can shit on other people for their looks and their lifestyles? A little based. A little bit based, just to be clear. Like, what are you. Like, you dudes in private <laughs> when nobody. Like, like you, and you don't tell anybody about it. Yeah. Okay, that hairstyle already says everything I need to know, my dude. Okay. okay, you take it up the ass like when, when nobody's looking and you you deny it. I imagine the guy's probably looking at your ass while he's fucking you, but you know. It, sure. At every point when nobody even brought it up, you're like, what do you mean in the ass? And they're like, I, I, I asked you what you wanted for dinner. Okay, well, just so it's clear, I did not get in the ass. Like that that's the look that you're giving off. It from any side of the internet. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like I knew it was bad when you started siding and becoming friends with Keffels of all people. But now this, like tipster, they don't like you. Like and also what happened like, like any kind of like standards? Like you've been shitting on H3H3 for years now. You're the same guy who's cut tens of videos calling out H3H3, calling him a reader. 
Is the music? Whoa, dude, you can't use that word, bro. It makes me so sad. The Leafy reference. What do you guys think? Because I know that Leafy had a, a image of uh, Tetra, uh, Princess Tetra, or whatever, from uh, Wind Waker as his biopic, and so like Tetra's forever tainted by that now. I do wonder if the Wind Waker music is a, a callback to that. Probably, Probably a stretch. Just saying. saying he's a dipshit. Ethan said it is, and Leafy often used Wind Waker music. I called it. I I mean, I don't think it's like necessarily a problem to be. I mean, if you're in some kind of a drama community, which is what Ethan is in, and I guess Tipster and all of us, even if they're not like the same drama community, I mean, you're going to shit on each other. If anything, it shows like a positive thing when you guys can still interact with each other and be like, oh, yeah, I know you criticize me for this, but like it's all kind of part of the the space. And, uh, you know, I'll still do an intro for you. I don't think the intro by itself is really the big deal. I like, you know, but okay. I knew it. I knew it. See? I called it. Epic He's a leafy ripoff. Lame ass. There's a lot of dumb shit. Like a lot of dumb shit. But this is probably like the dumbest thing he had said in recent times. What the fuck are you doing? Ethan saying he dumb. He's, 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 see, what's funny is he's making fun of Tipster for his alcohol addiction, but he still hasn't be beaten his getting f***ed in the ass addiction. Ooh, okay, maybe him. make your own bed first after you, you're done f***ing in it. Dumb shit. Alright, a lot of cringe in <laughs> both videos. <laughs> Which it's it's no okay. surprise. Ethan says dumb shit all the time. That's pretty yikesy, uh, my dude. I think that's a big yikes for um, me, dog. Like it's one thing to accept like an invitation for a debate or a conversation, but you literally got invited to dance like the little monkey you are for what? this guy. For yeah, I don't think it's that deep. I think what it is is that there are people who don't like like Tipster, and there's probably like a reason. There's like a reasonable reason, I guess. They don't like him, and that's fine. You don't have to like him. Um, and then they take that and they like run with it and they decide to criticize every single little thing that's going on. Like I, I would imagine that if this if this guy at Lyrics got like an invitation to do an intro for HG, he'd probably take it. Because why wouldn't you? From like a career perspective, it makes sense. It's not like nobody think. I mean, I I haven't seen people who think that like Ethan is like a morally horrible, terrible person. They just have disagreements with his like perspective and things. You get a little hyperbolic on the internet. Um, but it's not really that that deep. So the whole monkey angles a little i think a little obviously inflated like <clears throat> again i think it's a smart move to do something like that it's from a brand awareness perspective more than anything else no for his entertainment and most i mean if anything it communicates that like he could take a joke right oh he could take a joke he went on there he's like a soundboard meme on there but he's not crying about 14 pages like dark viper au the biggest pussy on fucking youtube you know he's <laughs> I don't think it's that big of a deal. But. Like, <laughs> Tipster does not reel in that big of views. Like, what do you mean, dance like the monkey you are? He could, like, H3 could have gotten anybody he wanted. He probably could have rung up Markiplier to do it, but he chose Tipster. Well, probably not, but I get what your point is, I guess. Like, what are you talking about? So Because Tips are so hot. Degrading. Jesus, man. And Nick DiOrio, popular comic. He's clearly jealous. This is giving jealousy really badly. Dude. I don't think it's jealous. I think it's more of just like, uh,. The tipster, uh, regardless of your criticism, and there are plenty of them, is still an easy target in, like, I guess, their community because he's cringe and he's a little bit of a lull cow at this point. So you can kind of say anything you want about him and everybody's going to be like, yeah, in that community specifically. You know what I mean? Um, so I think it's just going a little too deep into the, the tipster hate for that one. Dude, it's fine. You will have your heyday one day, okay? You'll have your moment to shine. You're not quite as big as my channel yet, but you're closing in. So, uh, I'm wondering if like this guy's being serious <laughs> because Larix is more popular than like probably both of us. I know that this is his other channel, but I mean, I guess he just doesn't know that, but he has his other channel with like 63,000. It sounds like he has like his main channel, which is this. His videos seem to do decent. This guy's 200K and two months ago, 80K, 14K. That's not too bad. And then he has his commentary channel where he just does commentary. I think this is this one, right? <laughs> You know, so but again, this was a month ago, I suppose, so he wouldn't have necessarily known all about those. But he seems to be doing better than uh, you're saying, but okay. And at the rate you're going, maybe you'll even catch up, okay? But I, I encourage you to build a, a good okay. following of nice, decent people, and you're not going to do that with videos like this, okay? <laughs> is this what I sound like when I give people advice about content? Holy fuck, because. <laughs> YouTuber tweeted out, I apologize to H3. In a previous tweet, I called him unfunny. I did not do the proper research. I will do better. And like, it, this isn't even like a tweet shitting on Tipster. But then he responds to Nick like this with probably one of the worst things I've read all year. Damn, bro, if you're gonna ride my dick this hard, at least make sure to make it. Apologize to H3. In a previous tweet, make I called sure. him unfunny. I did not do the proper research. I will do better. Damn. Yeah, so the joke was that it was Tipster's intro. Everybody made fun of it. That's what Nicholas Dior was saying. And then Tipster is just responding say, hey, at least. Ride, make me come if you ride my dick. Okay, it's whatever. It's just, I guess, just two cringe interactions with each other. Who cares? Bro, if you're going to ride my dick, the Harley's make sure to make me come. I mean, yeah, it's, it's low effort.
Come. Well, they're both the same effort. It's just bantering. What does it matter? <laughs> to be fair, though, I did make a bunch of in the ass jokes, so that's also low effort. Okay. How's Mrs. Tip think about that one? Ooh, based. What? Dog, where's your husband? Got him. And someone says, why the f*** would you tweet this in the comments? And then he says, because unlike- Are you sure you're my Papa H3 fanfic? Yeah, sure, brother. I'm down for it any day. You, I'm not afraid to be a f***ing Chad. Okay, Ooh, Tibby, come on, Tibby. Come on, him. Tibby. Reel it in, reel it in. Come on, come on, buddy. A little much. I said what I said. And if anyone doesn't like it, cope. This guy's like 40. 40. And funny enough, I know- That's a fair criticism. I never made a video on this, but I made so a tweet what? about him shitting on a back- Dog, you're 14. <laughs> Shut up. Well, I think the point is, is that sometimes he might act immature despite his age when you'd expect to be like a little bit more mature than like- <laughs> Although, that, again, I think Nicholas Jorah is in his mid-20s now. I think everybody in like and just in general on the internet is a little bit immature, um, especially people. Yeah, you know, so and just uh, generally speaking, I guess maybe me too in some ways. So like November seventh, saying he wore this in public, showing a picture of good old Tip. Go back to school. Highly acclaimed merchandise, Titster Beach Bond Titster T-shirt. And <laughs> is that real? Holy fuck! How do you get Jamal to do that fucking modeling for that? Okay, I gotta say, atrocious shirt, man. It's atrocious. It's it. This shirt sucks. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It's um, like, it's not for me. I'll just say it's not for me. Let's just say that, okay? Let's go with this. He's got you here. And then, of course, you can't forget the cap, too. Ladies, snap back. The, the yeah, cap's better. Are this, is, this is much better. I like the subtlety. This is very good. In that one, buddy. But Tipster didn't like this. He made a whole YouTube short video responding to me on his stream. The shirt sell? Hey, I there noticed you go. before the stream what started. The, did I just come back to? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just not my favorite. Also, we're going over somebody hating on you even more than I just did. Did I have. Oh, I guess tipsters in the chat. Had an alert from someone calling themselves Larix's biggest it's hater. It's not for me. They bought some merch. Larix's biggest hater bought an I Love Goth Mommy's t shirt. They went on to that say that he made lurking. a tweet he didn't just cheating get on your merch, so I decided to buy some. Now we have to find this tweet chat. If you don't know, Larix is a commentary YouTuber that uh, did quite a few videos on me. He says he wore this. This whole fucking video is brain rot. Like, I'm going to finish it, but what the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> what the fuck? It's in oh. public, and it's a picture of so me he's sporting my Tipster merch with a Tipster well, hat. What happened? Wait, what happened? Tipster, why is, this, why is his sub count so low? Is it because like he had to remake his account? Did he get banned or some shit? Like, I don't understand. What, on his Twitter? I think tip, I think Tipster is consistent, at least from what I remember, um, consistently like deleting his Twitter or something and then coming back is when he goes through like some weird... Like, I'm not interacting with these people anymore. I'm deleting Twitter. And then he deletes it, and then he comes back, and I need to make a new one or something. That's a weird cycle. Like, I don't do Twitter anymore either, but I don't announce it, and I just don't do it. <sighs> um, It just kind of seems like just, yeah, I just think it's generally toxic. It's probably, like, the worst platform, in my opinion. It's just a toxic and annoying and unproductive, so. Or is he just, like, obsessed with you that badly that you know him? Because he's, he's smaller than I am, even, and that's saying something. I actually <laughs> did step away for a bit, and I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I don't know. Uh, like, it, it, it's weird that, like, I don't know. To me, it's weird that you know who he is. His main channel is 50K. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, the larynx guy. Okay, I thought we were talking about Tipster. Uh, yeah, okay. At the How old is he? The hat that I'm wearing right now. You know and, what uh, he is? This shirt. So, I, I just have to say, really quick, Larix, thank you so much for promoting my merch. So, chat, if you want to head over to my merch store, if you, too, want to be Larix's biggest hater, you can buy my f***ing merch. Sorry to break the news, Tipster. Okay, I wasn't that far off then. He's a like, he, he looks like he's 14. But nobody's buying that shit. Your last two videos... Okay, but people did buy it. Like, no matter how much I personally don't like the shirt, I have to concede to Tipster that people bought it. So clearly, I, I it's just a, t a difference in taste. That's two point... I guess. I don't think you have to intellectualize it. I think it's just these two are being cringe to each other. It's not, it's not really that deep. 1K views and hey, 1.8K views. Tipster wins that debate, GG. I, I'm, I'm, I am man enough to admit when, I, when I'm wrong. 9k subscribers. Okay. This video is shitting on you on a 2,000 subscriber channel. I'll continue to be wrong. I don't like the shirt. <laughs> you got in the last week. But do you know what I'm more interested about, Tipster? This tweet right here. Can you address this? Uh, what do those views have to do with merch? Everything's a numbers game to these guys. If you don't have the high scores, if you don't have the big numbers, then the drama YouTubers are going to say, hey, look at these numbers. These numbers are doing quite low, as it turns out. But you were kind of just doing that, though. Weren't you just talking about before you knew Lyrics had a bigger channel than yours? You were like, oh, I'm bigger than you. And that's saying something. You were. You went on it like you went on about it like twice. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? <laughs> you do the same thing. I'm just saying, like, what are you talking about? Hmm, your stunks aren't as high as mine are. My line go up way bigger than your line, and it's like nobody gives a shit, dude. 
If you don't have good content, uh, nobody cares. Okay. Your next YouTube short about me. She consented. And also, Tipster literally has better views than you. So him having an underage. Uh, I don't think that's true. Even a month ago, but okay. Girls' news <clears throat> is okay. Dipshit. I know he's got more. Wait, what? She consented. So him having underage girls' news. Wait, what? If you don't have good content. Nobody cares. Your next YouTube short about me. She consented. And also, Tipster literally has better views than you. So him having an underage Thanks. girls' nudes is okay. What the fuck? I, I, I what's the context there? <laughs> Dipshit. I know he's got more subscribers. I'm not sure about views. what the fuck. I'm not sure. What is that? There's got to be something more there. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? What the what fuck? The tipster, you're okay with possession of child pornography? I mean, maybe they're both 17 or something. I guess I, I, I have no idea what that is. Say fucking. She consented, so him having an underage girl's news is okay. Fucking dipshit. No, no. This this is sarcastic. Oh. He's being sarcastic. That is the that is the most uh, bad faith reading of this. Do you know he's being sarcastic, or are you just guessing? Because that's fucking wild, brother. You could possibly engage with. Engage with what? What? So him having an underage girl's nudes is okay? Fing dipshits! What the f tipster? Okay. You're okay with possession of child pornography? No, that's not good. That's not good, man. Tipster okay, says yeah, he's acting disaffected about it, but like, no, that it is a, only a, a dumbass would read the tweet like that and, and respond like that. I guess I don't know. Is there more context to the tweet or? That's all the commentary community does. Bad faith misrepresentation of everything. I don't think he was literally saying that. I that seems like one of those things where he's this. like, it's definitely a joke, but also not a joke. You know what I, I mean? Don't like, like he knows that people will take that and, and run with it. <laughs> uh, maybe. I mean, again, I, I don't know. He could be kidding. I feel like you need more context than just that to make this whole narrative that it was a joke. <laughs> okay, uh, whatever. Nice. Looks great. Also, your friend. That reading just seems like you're really uh, interested in running defense for Tamster on that one. I mean, it's it's weird. It's a weird comment. It might be a joke, but to be like uh, so. Sure of it, like yeah, it's absolutely a joke. Is that a content? It could be. I don't fucking know. Um, you're so matter of fact about it. I think it could be bait. It might be, but okay, whatever. Kind of cute, haha. -ha. AP says, "Ayo, she's six. Is this Augie? Didn't he like stop making content? What a fucking idiot! Why would he stop? I feel like a lot of these guys are just fucking ruining their careers, even though they could be more successful. I don't really understand that. Teen. I'm a pedophile. Based. <laughs> Some sixteen-year-olds look like adults. What? And also, he just said cute. Okay? What the hell Once he you? found out that she's 16, he backed off. That's the What the fuck? What? Point. If you continue to pursue, once you know they're 16, that's the problem. The pro Okay. So, are you saying tips are hit on a girl he thought was 16 and then stopped after she said... I mean, that's good that he stopped, but... I don't know. What the fuck are you hitting on... Okay. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like... Listen, I used to be in a non-monogamous relationship okay so those are a little those are wild times i'm not gonna lie okay but generally if you're a married man you should probably stop with that kind of flirting stuff you know even i stopped now that i'm like i've we're now monogamous you know uh because you just get yourself into weird trouble i mean you're a grown man it doesn't really it looks very immature to be doing shit like that you know i need to explain something because i feel like not enough people understand this the problem with pedophilia is not finding somebody who is underage attractive. That is a problem with pedophilia, uh, <laughs> but okay. Okay, if you find somebody who happens to be underage, who's like 16 or 17, attractive, that's not a big deal. Uh, the big deal is when you pursue somebody once you know they're 16 or 17 and cannot consent to you. All right, sure, I guess. That's a little bit of a, okay, fine, whatever. That's the big deal, okay? It is not a fucking big deal if I go up to somebody, some chick that I think is attractive, okay, and say, hey, you know, you look great. Why don't I take you to dinner sometime? Okay? okay. And then she turns around and says, hey, I'm 17. I'm here with my mom or whatever. And she's in the other store. How old is this guy? Is he like 30? You know, at that point, guess what you do? You say, oh, I am so sorry. My mistake. I apologize. Go away now. And Tipster did that. Okay. okay. He made a mistake and he corrected it. There's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't make Tipster a fucking pedophile. And acting like it does is very miserable. It makes him a gooner file. <laughs> it makes him a gooner. Representative. And also, I will add... Taking away from actual pedophiles getting caught. Okay, don't dilute the field like this. Do not do it. Dude, I'm gonna die it's, again. It's bad faith, Fuck. it's disgusting, and it actively hurts. I'm gonna fucking come right now. Real life uh, uh, efforts to stop pedophilia. Okay? Very bad faith. I mean, I guess so, generally speaking. Like, what a pedophile actually is on the internet is kind of blurred. So I guess I kind of agree with that to some extent. I wouldn't be... Uh... That's morally loaded about it, but like, yeah, sure, why not? You can't forget about this one. A few weeks ago, when Keppel's I'm his best friend and fucked. lover these days got into a little bit of controversy her. over her trans. I literally had that happen to me when I was 16, and as long as they respected the fact that you're underage and can't consent, that's fine. 
Oh. Phobia slur usage. Hold on. And you can't forget about this one. A few weeks ago, when Keffel's his best friend and lover these days. Lover. Ooh. I don't know why you'd want to date Keffel. She doesn't have her penis anymore. I kind of feel like, what's the point, you know? Like, if I was going to fuck a trans woman, I'd want to I'd want to suck their wiener. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a reasonable take, you know? What, is that your fan fiction? Is that the level of parasociality we've reached, Justin Ooh, Bieber? Parasociality. Yeah, I think that the two of them just have, like, a kind of, I don't know, just, like, kind of weird, simpy relationship. Then you don't have, like, 100 hours to her, like, randomly on her birthday. Even if, I don't know, whatever. Got into a little bit of controversy over her train. Uh, actually, I, you don't deserve that much credit. I don't even like Justin Bieber's music, but I, I will compare you to... I like the one song he did. He made a... It was uh, something about a chainsaw is my favorite. Leafy, since I know that he's a loser. So, Leafy at home. And phobia hey, slur usage. Tipster felt the need that he had to give his position publicly and uh, say, as a cis man, I don't feel like I'm... If you have any questions about any of this shit, I'm happy to call in. But yeah, even my biggest hater shit on this guy for this video. Well, that's good. But like, yeah, if that's all he has to show for it, then then I, I there's nothing. Damn, this guy poisoned more than me. What the fuck? There, you found out she was 16 um, and you left. And that's it. And were you being weird in DMs? I don't know. Maybe you were. But like, if like he never showed any dates or anything. So even if that was a case of you being weird in DMs, it could have been forever ago, and you may have addressed it. I know you now, and the person that I know you as now is fine. So like, I just like uh, okay. I would. Have <laughs> it seems like you're really. Really want to be want to be Tipster's friend, man. Okay, I guess that's nice. <laughs> have to be shown some very damning evidence to think otherwise, and that was not it. In any position to chime okay. in on this discourse, so I will stay in my lane. <laughs> Were you talking about trans titty milk just a couple weeks ago? Uh, base baby. Yeah, because the whole thing was that conservatives were getting mad at her for doing that. I guess I think that she was just like rage bait farming, and it worked. Right, Naomi was right. I wonder, like, I feel like, what's the point in doing? Like, I mean, I would drink a trans woman's city milk. I just don't think that, why, why give it to a baby? I feel like, kind of seems weird. I would try it, though, just just to see what's going on with that. It's probably healthier than cow's milk, no? So he defended her. Yeah, okay. that was discourse. He didn't just pick that out of the blue. And then, like, converted, like, such a huge portion of your channel just to talk about trans rights. What do you mean, as a cis man, you don't- trans Just to rights. talk about trans rights. Yeah, okay, cool, base, thanks. See, now I know he's a good person. I feel like you're- in a I was good why? Because he defends trans people? I mean, it's a good thing to do, but <laughs> it's to make him a good person. We off with a friend in DMs and we had a falling out. She leaked my DMs out of context when another commentary creator who hated me pressured her to. That's eh, disgusting, man. I hate people. And I'm also, too, like, at I worst, hate people too. at the very worst. That's why I'm a vegan, bro. We should... <laughs> I hate people. We should kill people instead of animals. Okay? It's a little cringe. Okay, you came off a little strongly. That's what I would say. But that's assuming the situation is as they're right, right, saying it is. Mm, let's see what I can see how somebody might think that's creepy, but that's about the extent of it. That's as bad as it gets. Okay? Uh, okay. A little bit of creepiness. Well, <laughs> I feel like you're underplaying the creepiness, I guess, just in general, but okay. Which never killed anybody. You shouldn't do it. I don't know, man. Jack the Ripper was pretty creepy, dude. That's the worst it gets. I'm not going to uh, hate you for that. Okay? Just okay. don't do it again. You know? That's it. That's it. Just don't do it again. Don't be cringe in DMs. That's okay. it. Okay. And that's assuming that what they're saying is true, which I don't trust them, so whatever. A position to chime in on this discourse. You've inserted yourself into the trans discourse online throughout the past few months. You've made so? this shit your personality. Yeah, because as it turns out, he's learned that conservatives are fervently trying to attack trans people and their rights. What of it? He yes. backs the right horse. Okay. You mean the left horse? <laughs> I think, uh, you know, again, I don't, it's obviously not an issue to fucking defend trans people, but I think one of like the core issues people has is that he seems to have just flop to different communities as uh, he feels less accepted in some of the other ones. Like he'll engage in like toxicity in the community, um, and then he'll have like positive favoritism in that community. Then he'll say or do something that makes him look bad. He'll have like kind of a meltdown, a freak out, and he'll decide to shift to a new community. So it's I think it's difficult for people to feel like it's genuine, right? Um, like I think that there have been multiple times where he's decided that he wasn't going to do any uh, content anymore except for um, what was it, uh, Resident Evil content. And then, you know, so it's Resident Evil, then it's back to drama, then it's back to Resident Evil, then it's back to drama as content. Um, and then it's just kind of like this shift back and forth over and over and over again. And now it's into politics and it just seems like he's, you know, he's not necessarily maintaining a consistency. So I think that's part of the criticism. I think, again, some part of it is just like, oh, we don't like Tipster. I think that's part of it too, but, you know. Okay, he knows. He knows how bad it is for trans people. Uh, Probably through Keffels, if this. I had to guess, because he met Keffels, and, and they're friends now. So it's not random. They kissed on you didn't just lips. pick trans people out of the blue to, to uh, focus in on Kiss as an my issue. Pee -pee. Their angles that I cheated on my wife, which I didn't. My wife knew this girl. I knew we made these kinds of jokes. I didn't care. Wait, really? That's the angle? It's not even that you're being creepy in DMs? Because that was my issue. Well, it was more than just this girl. Like I said, like, what is it, Bojangles? Dodingus? 
Mudahar's fucking wife or whatever. Like he was, he seems to have a bit of a pattern of like hitting on girls who may not be a big fan of it. But you know what? I got that dog in me too. So I think there's something about fat guys and hitting on women. This is something about big fat fucks and hitting on women. You know, the, 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 the degeneracy allegations are really there. You know what I mean? Same here. I'm happy that my wife was able to lock me down now. Because I'm a fucking animal. Because, <laughs> you know, part of the problem, too, is it doesn't matter how fucking ugly you are. If you have a following, uh, women are going to hit on you on your platform. It's very weird. Women are very weird and stupid. You know, so... Um, <laughs> You know, sometimes you're like, oh, wow, I like this new attention. And then you act like a fucking fool. And then you kind of get a little too full of yourself. Uh, but yeah, you know. It is that I'm just like, okay, he's being creepy. But they tried to say that you were. Because when my wife and I were non monogamous, and then I had like my whole like thing happen where, uh, you know, whatever, the specifically with that fucking girl <laughs> that came forward that I was, you know. <laughs> Um, it was just embarrassing, even though it was part of our relationship, and that's one of, like a big reason too why I was like, "Wow, like really, this does really need to end," because it's just like embarrassing, especially since I'm getting older, and like, do I really want to be portrayed online like this? You know, I'm okay with being a little bit of a gooner, but I want to be a faithful, loyal, married gooner that uh, is in a closed relationship, especially once I have kids, man. Like, I'm not trying to have our fucking kids be like, "Oh, dad, what did you used to do this for?" It's like, I don't. You know, I wasn't particularly happy when I was in the, <laughs> that type of a relationship anyway. it's It feels nice to feel free, but then after you get locked down a little bit and you start having, like, you know, actual principles and getting your shit together, you start to realize that um, you, you start to, to realize that you're, like, much better off being a little bit more, um, I guess you say structured. So I feel it. For cheating on your wife? That's weird, man. I mean, that's weird, dude. Listen, like I've, I've women other than my current wife, uh, Ooh, but she knew about it. So it's fine. Base, like, dude. Okay. Obviously like what's going on. Sorry, not my current, sorry. I meant the, the woman that I, my future wife, my current fiance is what I meant. Not in okay. the, with the internal I mean, my current partner right now. Uh, you know, it's a serious issue. So I'm not trying to make light of it or whatever, but one yeah. positive thing okay. that's come out of it is right wingers, uh, have been busy talking about that, uh, and aren't really. Oh, I forgot about this clip. It's kind of funny. No, my current, sorry. My, my, I meant the, the woman that I will, my future wife, my current fiance is what I meant. Not in the, with the internal I mean, current partner right now. Uh, you know, it's a serious issue, so I'm not trying to make light of it or whatever, but one yeah. positive thing okay. that's come out of it is right wingers, uh, have been busy talking about that, uh, and aren't really shitting on trans people anymore. It's kind of based, dude. It's a fucking ridiculous joke. Also that just pushed that into me. It was kind of unfair. You fucking asshole. Uh, yeah, interesting. I'm assuming it's a joke. It's kind of weird to say, but uh, kind of funny, I guess, if he means it, if it's a joke. Uh. <laughs> well, that's I agree. Plus, right? The only thing I will say is this. As someone Although who I will say they're still actively shitting on trans people. It's just like, uh, especially... Like Can you show me the website where they do that? That'd be really nice if I could see it. I, I know it's a joke, so you're not wrong. It did stop for a little bit, but it must continue, right? Who's had the privilege of getting to know Keffels over the course of the past year. She is I think I've seen this. Someone who's had the privilege of getting to know Keffels over the course of the past year. She's someone who cares a lot about trans people in the community. Yeah, yeah. I've seen all this. Yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. Someone who cares yes. a lot about it. I don't know. <laughs> what we know about Kevils now, I'm not really sure. Uh, she seems to be kind of like, what do they call her? A cry bully? Um, where she just bullies people and then cries victim. Is that what that means? I'm assuming that's what that means. She doesn't seem to be a particularly Jesus Christ, uh, honest person. So <laughs> She seems to hide behind her identity. So, especially as somebody who obviously like doesn't have a typical trans experience, I'm not trying to invalidate them, but like most trans people don't aren't able to start transitioning at 16 with like you know medical interventions and hormones and therapy and et cetera, et cetera, and have accepting uh, you know parents. I'm assuming since they were able to transition young and all this other stuff. So I don't even know if they necessarily know what it's like to have like a typical trans experience. You know, it's like Caitlyn Jenner, same thing. Doesn't really understand the struggles of being a trans person. So to the same degree because they have like money and they're able to transition, et cetera, et cetera. Trans people in the trans community as a whole. She has genuine compassion for the struggles they face and wants them to have access to the rights and freedoms they need to live happy and healthy lives. And I have no reason to believe she would ever do anything to bring any harm. Especially since I remember uh, from what we saw with that Willie Mac video, especially like she's advocating for like people that are non-diagnosed with gender dysphoria to be able to get access to hormones, which I don't think is right. I understand it can be difficult to, to find um the correct treatment but i don't think anybody undiagnosed should be able to get access to like fucking hormones that you make at home you know it's one thing for an adult to do it but she seemed to be actively um supporting young people transitioning without getting a diagnosis which i think is dangerous because it can be a very complicated mental health issue the trans <clears throat> she has far too much love and compassion for this you know how i know you're leftist now is because this is long as f dude 
That's how I know. This community to ever do that, ever. I love how he says this community. You planning on transitioning sometime soon? I'm based. He's got the tits for it. Might not be too bad. What is this? <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Okay. What is this? It's just dude, dumb. okay. You know what? I, I, I haven't pulled this one up. Oh, stop. It's funny, dude. It's just stupid. It's silly. In a while, but I think it's time. Okay, what are we doing? My community's doing? much bigger. I think it's time to pull this one back up. Hold on. What? Why do you keep talking about the size of your community? So towards the beginning of my channel, I told everybody that if I... I'm not trying to be an asshole. Why do you keep talking about your community compared to his, especially? <laughs> like, I don't care, but I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed this. If you see this in the corner over here, it shows that he's streaming and your stream's got like 55 people watching, which is fine, but it's like weird. That you keep comparing your community to his community. That's like bizarre. I mean, maybe they're watching on his website, but I don't know, dude. It's just like weird. Especially since you criticize them for being all about numbers, and now all you're doing is talking about numbers. It's <laughs> it's so weird. You're all so fucking bizarre. It reached a certain, it was like 300 subs or something that I would uh, cross dress. So here it is. Okay. It's me. It's Mama Alec Gunther. Okay. Here's another one. Cool. There it is. Okay. Fantastic. Here's a still that I got with uh, Katie's face just being funny. Now, I know what this picture makes you think, but don't worry. Katie uh, nothing. He actually did all the makeup, okay? She just thinks my poses are funny. But yeah, no, I, yeah. Okay. I think it looks pretty damn good, okay? And maybe if, if this guy, who already cool. looks like he would fit makeup very well, makeup and a dress. I, I, I'm, I'm serious. Like, he, lo he would look good with makeup and a dress. Not kidding. Okay. Maybe you should try it. Why? You know? Stop imagining other people doing it. Just try it. It's not for me. Like, I tried it, okay? So I can now safely say that I have no desire to wear a dress or put on makeup. I simply don't. Okay? I know that I look bad as in it, but, you know, it's just not for me. Side note, this guy's a lollicon. Nice. Bonus. What? Who's a lollicon? What are you talking about? You know, it's just not for me. Side note, this guy's a lollicon. Nice. Who, tipster? <laughs> Who's the lollicon? Bonus. I'm transitioning sometime soon. They always are. And funny enough, they're better than your ass, good. Ordering shits on tipster here saying. I mean, listen, I'm not really attracted to men. But I think Lyrics probably looks better than Tipster. I think he would, Tipster would agree. I don't think it's... You can go ahead and disregard any okay. post like this that starts out as, as a cis man. It's cool that you want to bang trans people, dude. Just don't pretend you're trying to do anything but that with this virtue signaling BS. No. Ooh, the quartering reference? Got him. That's not why people support trans people. They do it because they're decent people. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. I think that there's a lot of people who support trans people because they want to bang them. I mean, this is... I, listen, this is my male theory. I think a lot of men are just like, I would fuck that. I think that's valid. Listen, male motivation sometimes is just their penis. And it's like, okay, I look at trans women porn. I think it's hot. I like that these people exist. There's nothing wrong with them. Let's legislate to let them exist. And I feel like people who hate trans people the most are also attracted to trans people and they want to fucking jack off to them. And they feel self-conscious about it, so they want to, so they want to like legislate that away. That's my theory. Because, like, you know Kelly Cadigan? She's that, you know, she does OnlyFans. She's a trans woman. She just makes, like, you know, baiting posts and a bunch of conservatives, all the people subscribing to her, jerking off to her. They're all fucking, they want to fuck a trans person. So I think that... The, the the like and the hate for trans people comes from wanting to fuck them. Because the most homophobic people too, they're also very gay. You know what I mean? They're just trying to like pray their own demons away. I'm just this is being real with you, brother. Yes. <laughs> That's a murder. Life is very simple, man. It's just life is just about jacking off. Murder. But Tipster has also been shitting on fellow com Oh wow, that was such a murder. Ch channels recently saying he's no different than the bottom feeders in commentary that swing up based. at larger creators for a nibble of clout. Uh based super based i guess i don't care that's pretty true i gotta agree with you there tipster i think that's a pretty good point so i'm, I'm really liking the transition that you made to your channel where you don't do that anymore well Illumi <laughs> okay. illuminati le legit everybody knows that le illuminati did the shit that she did okay she's a pariah now tiktok okay. and mizzy arrested for vile pranks destiny attempts to appeal his ban twitch ban and gets rejected well i think the point is is that he's engaging in a behavior that he's criticizing and you can uh, which is like fair me too, I guess. Whatever. Uh, okay. Amaranth catches man on. I mean, to me, it's just like popular figures are more popular to talk about, and people want to hear more about them. So, like, I'll, oh yeah, I'll talk about it. Like, oh, Papa, could you give me your take on fucking Amaranth selling her farts to Caleb Hammer? Yeah, sure. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's come on and fail at this goddamn game all day and get pissed off. Um, <laughs> and while we engage with a video, I think that's fun. fuck it. What a job. What a fucking privilege, you know. I mean, yeah, like. You know, you're going to use larger people, bottom feeders and commentary that swing up at larger creators for a nibble of clout. I mean, this is all relevant content. 
you know? <laughs> it's interesting, because this guy seems to have, like, have a very vested interest in defending everything Tipster says and does. You know, like, it's just like, yeah, he's criticizing something he does as well. That's the criticism there. It's a reasonable criticism. It doesn't really matter that much, but, like, that is the criticism. It's like, you can just be like, yeah, that's true, and move on. You don't have to always look for an angle as to, like, why Tipster's in the right. You know, especially since you guys just started being friends at this point, at least a month ago. Like, I, the difference is that you're not just randomly swinging up at larger content creators. Yeah, trending topics versus fighting for clout. Which, you know, I admit to... It's the same thing. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why do you think topics become trending? Because, like, part of it is that. Like, I don't... I don't okay. It's all kind of connected, but whatever. Doesn't mean that there's no valid criticism, but those people at the top tend to get more views if you talk about them, so... Fighting for clout, by the way. I fully admit to that. Of course I fight for clout. I, I do uh, debates. I don't got to fight, baby. I just fucking natural. Am I right, guys? I uh, tick some buttons, you know. I... I, I spark some outrage sometimes you know it happens oh, i try not to do that i don't think i need to i do i think if you're in like a feedback loop of constantly trying to spark outrage for attention you're probably not really generating the audience that you the good audience you were telling lyrics to generate through being a nice guy so that okay and that helps grow the channel because my ultimate goal with this channel is first of all i'd like to grow and be a funny entertaining person on on youtube okay but the second okay. reason also is that you know, I, I'm trying to put a political message out. I'm gonna fucking come you know, that good ass. things are good. Holy fuck, dude! So you sometimes you got to do the shit you do to make your channel grow. You know, so bad larger this creators to uh, you know try to nibble off. Of and it. also, nobody's arguing that, no, that like nobody is on your side with the Illuminati shit, dude. Nobody. Like, uh, I don't think he's defending Illuminati. I think he's just making a point. If you are like implying that you're on Illuminati's side or something. The creators to uh, you know try to nibble off of their clouds either. Some of y'all get far too parasocially invested in the internet shit, then the grand scheme of things doesn't really matter, and normies offline genuinely don't give a single fuck about. Do yourselves a favor for once and log off. Touch grass, touch ass. Okay, so uh, kind of true. So now he's going to call him a hypocrite because he's going to say the tipster never touches grass, well, which that might be true, by the way. I don't know. But that doesn't change the message. Okay, appeals to hypocrisy do not negate the message. Touch anything that doesn't have a keyboard or touch a screen on it for once. Oh, got him. Farted on him, dude. Trust me, you'll think later. That's good advice. I should do that more. This guy's like 400 pounds. How about you touch a treadmill? Well, oh, no. <laughs> oh, got him. Right, never mind. We're going with a fat joke. Very good. Can we get a uh, tipster? Put in an applause noise. For me. I mean, I imagine that if you're, you know, food addicted, you probably also have a uh, higher propensity to be internet addicted, so. That's very good. And, uh... You know, I'm sure he had a live studio audience. These are fucking understand. terrible picks. Can we try that, shit. please? Tipster spends all of his nights on Discord talking to mentally ill transgender people on how to run defense for Keffels instead of talking to his wife. I'm sure he talks. <laughs> is that true? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, it is interesting though. I, I mean, I don't know what his uh, we'll call it his work life balance is. But uh, oh, this is kind of cool actually. This little flow I got going on here. <laughs> I don't know his work-life balance, but what I will say is that, you know, the more I spend on the internet, the less time I have for my wife, and I enjoy hanging out with my wife, so, you know, I'll usually stream, like, maybe three hours a day, and then I'll do offline work and stuff and hang out with my wife. That's my priority. I don't know, you know, I don't really have a lot of time for friends, because I don't, don't want to make time for them, because <laughs> I enjoy just hanging out with my fucking wife, you know? To his wife in between streams. It's not like he's streaming eight hours a day, like some people I know, okay? What do you know? Hey, he has a life outside of it, I promise. Okay. Like, apparently his live streams are about to get pretty spicy though he said in his discord that should i wear you can do both things my next you know what? oh you know what the problem is he doesn't have a wife so he wouldn't know this but you can actually do both okay so here's the okay let me explain this to you sonny so when when you get sonny. married some things change that's true but your entire life does not revolve around your wife once you get married a hard disagree brother everything revolves around my fucking wife i don't know what the hell you're talking about i do everything for my wife so why is my motivation for a living man what are you talking about if you're not in that kind of love then you're gay Okay. Okay. Don't tell Katie that, but it's true. So right here. I didn't know that at all. But but what does Katie do for work? I wonder. Your entire life does not revolve around her. I have a life outside of her, and she has a life outside of me. Okay. And if it no, impossible, never gonna happen in my household. Give a shit. My wife and I are obsessed with each other. Fuck that noise. It's, if, it's, God forbid, if someday we were to break up in the future, never gonna happen. I'll kill myself if my wife leaves me, and she do the same. So I'm not kidding. This isn't. A, it's a joke. I'm fucking devoted. Like that's the only that's that's what makes me. That's what gets me to wake up, brother. That's what gets me to wake up and go to sleep. I would be crushed, but I would get on with my life. Nah, never. You're not in love. If you think that, if you've actually thought about that, you're not in love, dude. I would be devastated. I would be fucking devastated. There's no fucking way. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I would move on and never. And that's that's not love, dude. You'd move on if your wife and you broke up. Never, never gonna happen.
the fuck out of here. That's it for me. I'm clocking out. <clears throat> okay, I get on with it because I have a. Life don't Jesus me, dude. All right, if you're fucking, if you're in good, <laughs> that's the truth. Dude. I don't know what to tell you. Back outside of her still. Now I know that no. you are a virgin. I get that. But Both now that you know that, him. maybe next time you can avoid making this dumbass comment that only a 14 year old would make. Oh shit. Right? Not only do you look like one, you also think like one. Damn. About to get pretty spicy though. He said in his Discord that should I wear a maid outfit for my next stream? Oh shit. Wrong chat. Ignore that. Oh, oh, oh got him. What? But I wanted to end off this video. Wait, hey, wrong chat. That's a joke. Guess what I've done? Should I pull it up, chat? Should I pull it up? No, please don't. I had it memory hold until just now. I actually looked fing terrible. <laughs> I tried to make myself a cat boy and oh, I ended up looking like a goddamn raccoon. Dude, oh god. This, this it's so it's even worse than I remember. Holy shit, this is bad. Why the fuck do people do this for attention? <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. Ah. Yeah, this was not my best trip. I look like a, a bear more than anything. I look like a bear squeezed into a, a maid outfit. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, it's abysmal. Oh my God. I'm trying to get but yeah, no, it's, it's fine. Yeah, there it is. That's I've, I've worn a maid dress. So what? Wild, what? brother. It's a joke, man. Take a joke. Ignore that. What? So I wanted to end off this video on one what? good note with one final statement Obvious from Tipster joke. himself. When you got a coom, uh, you got a coom. Got him. Okay. I coom. What, this guy doesn't coom? Is that your problem? You got big ass blue balls, man? Go, go whack one off. I promise you'll feel better. Maybe do it to uh, somebody fucking your ass! Got, got it. Check this out, guys. I'd say I'm average. My wife's not complaining, so. This whole fucking dude, I cannot believe we just watched that. If I ever have a, a curiosity to watch something like this again, just please don't let me fucking do it. Because holy Jesus Christ. Well, that's stupid. This is fucking cringe all around. But I've learned nothing except that this guy is, uh, we have Leafy at home. And then uh, it turns out Leafy at home is not, is, is not but Lurix. <laughs> like, that was, uh, it, it exists, it's, you know. It's, uh, like, I still like Tipster, is the thing. So I disagree fundamentally with the video. video. I, I think he's more of a cringe loser than Tipster is. At least Tipster has a bitch, you know? Like, where's your bitch? Oh. You know? Where's he at? All this guy's wife a bitch, dude? That's not very nice. You saying that? <laughs> uh, hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please. Okay, this is a different guy. What the fuck? This is not the same person. Whatever. Cool. Cool stuff.